180 degrees. That's the rubbish field of vision you have when you're looking straight ahead of you. New technology in fancy pants cameras has made it really simple to take stunning panoramic photos, and in doing so, highlighting how substandard our own eyes are, as well as non-brilliant cameras are. Thankfully, those skills have now hit the iPhone 4. Panoramatic guides you to take as many photos as you can handle, guiding you on where to take the next one so it can stitch them together later, creating either a panoramic or full 360 degree shot, depending on the number of shots you took. After a fair amount of processing time, depending on the quality level you choose, you can then upload your photo to Facebook, Flickr, email it or send it to Panoramatic's own website. Will it save your life? Probably not. Will it change your life? Doubtful. Will it give you excellent 360 degree photos without spending a grand on a DSLR? Absolutely, definitely. Internet on your iPad. Yuck. Why bother typing in a web address when you can just tap an app icon and have the internet brought to you? Specifically, the BBC's iPlayer internet loveliness. Smooth and pretty, this app makes discovering stuff on the iPad a pleasure. It's no good over 3G, but as a Wi-Fi only iPad owner, this just makes me smug. There's the ability to search, add programs to favourites, although not whole series, and if you go to channels you'll find a TV listings grid, where you can watch stuff that's been on in the past, watch live TV, or favourite stuff that's showing in the future. At the end of the app-related day, there's nothing you can get from this app that wasn't already available from the iPad-compatible web page, but no one bought an iPad for Safari, yeah? Celebrity lookalikes. Everyone has one, and everyone hates whoever that person is. Personally, Helen Baxendale is my own nemesis. So imagine my delight in finding an iPhone app that will pair you with your celebrity lookalike. Would I be Helen Baxendale? No, I would be even worse. I would be paired with Misha Barton. Mystifying. Take a photo of yourself, choose whether you're a boy or a girl, and watch in amazement as the app pairs you with someone horrific. The app developers have quite rightly pointed out that just because you've been compared to someone undesirable, that's no reason to rate them badly. Who knew app feedback could be so vindictive? Zobni has been reversing inbox clutter practically since unruly email became a thing. With Zobni Super Address Book, it's branching out to mobile business users. Zobni Mobile spruces up your BlackBerry contact, making it easier to find the person you're looking for. Once it's installed, it will scan your inbox in the background to pull out contact details and work out who's the most important to you. You can then view all of your contact's various communication options, and it can even tap up LinkedIn and Facebook for extra info. You can also see, at a glance, recent conversations you've had with someone over email, SMS, and when you spoke to them last. The basic app is free, but the all bells and whistles version is currently on sale for £1.65, and adds in things like the ability to integrate with Universal Search on BlackBerry 6, and accessing your Zobni contacts straight from your phone's inbox. Android owners, stand tall, be proud, do not let iPhone owners tell you you should have gone to Apple. In fact, download the following two apps and be sure that no one will ever again doubt your commitment to the Android cause. The first is a simple wallpaper. Don't tell the iPhone owners, but it's a massive battery suck. But for short periods of time, when you're sat next to a power socket, it's totally worth it. Jumpgate has your little Android character barreling through space, making your screen a portal to another universe, rather than just somewhere to stick your app icons. The second is Androidify, which gives you the chance to customise your own Android character, complete with Bluetooth headset, enormous beard and Converse trainers. You can then share, download and use this icon across the internet to confirm your status as Android's biggest fan iPhone owners just don't have heart like you Android owners. Want more? 
Go to www.fraculus.com forward slash follow for a glut of RSSE, iTunes-y, podcast-y, subscription-y options.